Hello, welcome back. It's me, Shiny Doorknob. You're probably a little angry at me because I left you on a cliffhanger last episode, and uh, we are here to resolve that. I am on Twitch. Uh, I do want to... Um, I'm not going to say that, actually, but um, anyway. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're on Twitch. If you want to see me play live, in the description below. You can follow that link, and uh, you know what to do. You know what I mean? But for now, uh, let's just uh, let's just hop right back in. We're, we, we just uh, convicted uh, Gundam with the thick hams. What, they call him Gund Ham because he had hamsters. I'm just saying, I'm pretty intelligent. Um, and he is uh, he's telling us some stuff. We The cliffhanger we left on was um, Nekomaru. Okay, so everyone was like, oh, you didn't fight him. You just had the hamsters kill him or whatever, turn off his button. And um, Nekomaru, Gundam says, Nekomaru did fight. That is no mistake. And because he fought, he lost and died. Lost and died? If he was just trying to cling to life, there are many ways he could have done so. However, he did not allow that. W what do you mean? Explain! Fine then. Then I shall reveal it all. And, uh, here we go. Let's make history. Within the final dead room, I discovered the secret of the funhouse. And I devised a killing plan utilizing that secret. By tampering with all the clocks in the building, I succeeded in luring Nekomaru to the tower. And this is what happened. Yeah. Yeah, I think for Eli, too. <gasps> Damn! Look at that fucking smoke effect. Nekumaru and I were alone in the tower, standing face to face with one another. <laughs> I should say I expected as much from Nekomaru. He sensed my subtle killing intent and instantly understood the situation. <laughs> go, 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 go. And we had ourselves a stare down. I st if they had a stare down, it literally is JoJo. Uh, in that situation, if he wanted to run away, it would have been easy for him to do so. He could have run away, or even called for help. But he did not turn his back to me. Instead, he chose a fight that risked life and death. That is... A fight that risked life and death? Let me tell you He this. was serious, too. He gave it his all to try to kill huh? me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what if he just had like that nasty fucking laugh? He was like, Gah! If I had died instead, the mystery surrounding the case would have been even more complicated. You would never know why I, the victim, went to the tower by myself. I can see it! Nobody would know the victim. Me, that the victim, me, was actually the one who planned the whole thing. Me? Mekamaru really did that? <laughs> Sensing even my subtle killing intent, as expected of you, Nekomaru. The scorching, stinging, tense atmosphere. I've been a team manager for so long, I'd nearly forgotten this. This is great! What a comforting atmosphere! Hmm, that's a great line. And what is your reason? Do you intend to resolve this situation by killing me? <laughs> <laughs> I am the Warlock, Gundam Tanaka. Heroes, Lords of Darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. I do not cling to any trivial reason. I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. <laughs> You'll drench your soul with evil until the bitter end, huh? Splendid! In response to your spirit, I shall kill you with all of my might. <laughs> Just two bros hanging out. I won't go easy on you. Don't even think about holding back. Don't waste your breath on cowardly tactics. Give me everything you got. Nekomoro Nidai, your blood will drench the foundation of my empire. That is... Why? Why? Why did you fight? We are all friends. Why couldn't you stop this? Even if both sides agreed, it was still wrong. <laughs> I will not argue. I have no intention of forcing my values upon you. Let me tell you However, this. I must say this. What's the point of living if you're just waiting until you finally die? You weakling. There's nothing courageous about that. That is abandonment, a mere feeling of resignation. <laughs> Wait, are you telling us just to wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. 
Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? Whoa! Fall, my Pog! Ever since we were locked inside that building, everyone had been dominated by that feeling of abandonment. However, nothing is born from resignation. That is simply a reason to give up. You flinch, you will die! Giving up on life? That's just an insult to life itself! Let me ask. Have you furl of furls? Have you fools heard of the term dog eat dog? Um. Cannibalism? <laughs> In zoology, cannibalism is a commonly observed phenomenon. Many creatures at some point in their lifespan engage in cannibalism. It's true. Grade 8 was pretty tough. Listen well! That is what it means to live! If you say killing for the sake of living is evil, then what would you call your call giving up on uh, then what would you call giving up on life itself? I shall engulf this world. If a world would consider that justice, then I will bring I will fight that world with every last fiber of my being. Nice. <laughs> giving up on life and choosing death is nothing but a blasphemy toward life. I renounce you! It is a violation of the natural order. It is the arrogance of humanity. You. Are you saying all that stuff to try to justify what you did? What? It sounds like Nekomaru felt the same too. That's why they fought, right? I, a lot of this philosophical stuff, I was just going over my head. In zoology, cannibalism has come as a phenomenon. Many creatures at some point in their lifespan, yeah, 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 that's what it means to live. If you say killing for the sake of living is evil, then what would you call giving up on life itself? If a world would consider that justice, then I will fight the world with every last fiber of my being. Giving up on life and choosing death is nothing but a blasphemy towards life. Uh, it is a violation of the natural order. It is the arrogance of humanity. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Damn it. Yeah, this one's tough. I like Gundo. I like I liked the Gunster. <laughs> Fine. That man had the courage to die when he needed to die. That is why he challenged me to our battle. <laughs> Regardless, as I've already said, I do not intend to force my values upon you fools. I have betrayed you all. That is the absolute truth. Fall, my but tears. even so, don't you think it's a better alternative to slowly starving to death here? Oh. That belief is why you committed your crime. You... Hey, hey. What about the final dead room? Did you do the Russian roulette too? Let's make history. Unlike Nagito, I only did it once. But <laughs> <laughs> compared to my battle with ne Nekomaru, that was mere child's play. Oh. Uh, well. You know, after listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that you're pretty fucking stupid. Well, it's also because you unexpectedly admitted your crime without much resistance. Gundam, Gundam, don't tell me you. You didn't sacrifice yourself for our sake, did you? <laughs> I can't believe you would ask such a foolish question. My name is Gundam Tanaka! Just who do you think I am? I am Gundam Tanaka, history's greatest monster! My cursed existence is feared by all mankind. There's no way I'd sacrifice myself for the sake of you fools. Fade like not dust in, the in a wind. million, not in a billion, not in ten thousand billion years. In the name of pandemonium, it is impossible. Is that it? Then I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> now then, let us be rid of this foolish talk. It's about time the fun started. <laughs> Monokuma, let us begin. Yes, Yay, got it. <laughs> got it. I have prepared a special punishment for the ultimate breeder, <laughs> Gunta Tanaka. Wait. This, this is just too much. Please, Monokuma, please help Gundam. Huh? Yeah, baby. Yeah, Monami, yeah. Miss Sonya. Oh, man, she How likes him. Pitiful. Sonia, an act as unrefined as stopping a man from going to his death does not befit a noble such as yourself. Uh, Gundam. Hmm. Um, it's fine to start for reals, right? Fine. Yes, I do not mind. However... What is it, my four dark devas of destruction? Are you worried about me? Oh, my feared four dark devas of destruction. That is not like you at all. However... There is no need to fear. In this world, I am only a temporary visitor. 
I was simply visiting for a moment, and now that my duty is complete, I must return to the darkness. That is why, until the very end, pride, conceit, courage, insolence, fearful of nothing, daunted by nothing, let us laugh uproariously! <laughs> That is Gundam Tanaka! I shall stick with my evil until the very end! Open Sesame Pandemonium! I shall fill hell with true hell! <laughs> Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Nice, nice send off there, Gundo. You're not gonna see this on YouTube. I'm so sorry. That's that's just what it be. It just doesn't. It's just fucking copyrights it. What on God's earth is that? Oh wow, that is that looked 3D. That looked 100% 3D. Oh, he did talk about getting trampled. Oh, the hammies. Oh my god, he had the best fucking one. He had the best fucking execution, like, out of all of them so far. This is pretty fucking lit. Got carried up into heaven by fucking the animals he bred, I guess. Oh my god. Holy shit. Yeah, that's all I fucking got. God damn, god damn, that was pretty good. That was a good send-off, honestly. That was fucking, that was cute as shit. So apparently he was actually a warlock. I guess his, his magic just didn't work in the end. Maybe, uh, maybe that was just... I don't know. I don't know what that was. Maybe there was some sort of spell. Spell of protection for his hamsters or something. Anywho. C Gundam. No. No. <laughs> Even after Gundam is gone, the spirit of his parting words still linger deep in our chests. Don't give up on life. Did I misunderstand what he meant? Then what's the right thing to do? I don't know. No matter how much I think about it, I don't know if I'll ever be able to answer that. Damn it. Damn it! I'm so pissed off. I need to throw something. D damn it! You all spent so much time worried about each other, and thanks to that, things ended up like this. You were all full of shit, every last one of you. But the biggest piece of shit is me. Worst. Damn it. Why am I so weak? Oh. Mm. It's such a downer, <laughs> clearly. But still family-friendly new song what is that even though we feel this way we still got to do our very best we got to go for the high score you are right this time around we must move forward we must continue to live and believe in our friends if not you are right Gundam will most likely crawl his way out of hell and I presume he will be very cross with us is that what it's called the family-friendly new song you're right you're right. We shouldn't just stand here. I mean, it's not like this is over. We still have to do it. We still have to finish this. Oh shit, I looked that up. That sounds fucking weird. That's like, um, 
what's the song for fucking mash it's like do 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 and you're like oh it's mash it's like a funny little i mean it's, it's like you know it's a, like a comedy about like the korean war you're like oh it's kind of lighthearted, and you listen to the actual the actual title for the song is suicide is painless and you're like all right for the sake of our friends who have died we need to finish this once and for all so don't just stand there stand up and walk move forward live twerk if you don't everyone who fought and died will have died in vain we can't allow that so how long are you guys gonna stand around chattering the class trial is over so it's okay for you to hurry back over to jet Rock island however the killing school trip will proceed as usual so make sure you know that Wait. H hold on how how much longer are you gonna keep doing this seriously how long is he going to keep doing this how long is this going to continue we have one two three four five six seven so we got one more because there's there's um is there really only seven left oh my god that's fucked that's really fucked um i wonder um because last time it was six people escaped so we're gonna have one more death the baby boys one more death in the family um i think it's gonna be but uh, who's gonna die next? I don't. Okay, I I think I know who's safe. I think Hajime is safe. Nagito is safe. Chiaki is safe. Fuihiko is safe. Um, I think it's gonna be Akane that bites the dust. I think it's gonna be her. What was the last? What was the last death? I don't remember. Um, suicide. Was the last death? I can't remember what the what the last fucking one was. I don't know. I don't know. Can't remember. But I I, I think it's gonna be either. Uh... <sighs> I could see it being Kazuichi actually. I could see it being Kazuichi because he's the one who's in love with Masonia. Although last time we had Toko and Biaku, you make it out. Because we have okay, we have someone who's obsessed with someone else with uh someone who's who, okay 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 okay. Hear me out. We got someone who's obsessed. With a, a bloodline that's Kazuichi, not a bloodline, but he's obsessed with her, and she is a she has like a powerful bloodline because she's a princess, like Byakuya was. Um, so it could be that she makes it. Um, excuse me. So she might make it as well as Kazuichi. Chiaki's kind of like the Kyoko. Nagito, I think, is gonna make it. Um, Akane is kind of like Aoi in some kind of way, and Fuyuhiko would be like who? Yasuhiro? I don't fucking think so. Maybe Hajime bites it. Maybe I fucking bite it. And these guys get out of here. Reserve course student, man. Now then. Let's see. <laughs> All right. After feeling down for so long, I finally feel refreshed. Let's hurry back and eat some food. Hey, hey. Oh, hold on a sec. That mood shift is too damn fast. Like that. Well, you know, it's like Gundam and Nekomaru <laughs> said. Oh, that's what it means to live. Right? I want to just put those eyes over her just like this fucking like just fuck my shit up what is it fucking what's the guy who um he's in the mummy I think Brendan Fraser I just want his fucking like crying eyes over top of those <laughs> she's certainly something else but seriously I'm fucking starving hey, hey. then let's go back now and eat and then after a full let's sleep as much as we want right? and then let's do our best again yeah you're right that's been working so far. I mean, I guess it has. They're still technically alive, but people still getting murdered. With this, the class trial had come to an end, and once again, we return to Jabberwock Island. The size of a whoop has definitely diminished. Yeah, no shit. But despite that, even if it was just the rest of us, we did our best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Of course, our optimism, our optimism was only superficial. But at that moment, we were able to forget about the dark despair looming before us. And remember, the only thing I was worried about was where the pee was stored it was him he wasn't there he suddenly disappeared from our sight yeah wait isn't there one more fucking person left wait what the fuck i forgot about that uh da, da, da. oh is it nagito or my maybe uh okay let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see all right okay so so we got one two three four five six seven no okay so it's it's got to be someone alive <gasps> Nagito. <laughs> yep, I'm definitely lucky. I never expected to t obtain so many valuable things from a simple game of Russian roulette. 
<laughs> Ooh, thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy. <laughs> oh my fucking god, what a pale ass fucking hoe. Even his hands are fucking pure white. Jesus Christ. Is he dead? Is that the joke? Oh, sorry, you can't see it. Here, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll move myself so you can get the full experience for this guy. Look at that. Look at that. Nasty ass fucking home. Crazy ass looking motherfucker. Jesus Christ. All right, well. Back we go, gentlemen. Back we go. And before everyone else, too. But it's just too funny. I mean, no one could tell that I was lying. There's no way the file had just the Hajime's information. Ooh, he's Whoa. a nasty boy. I guess they were too busy with other matters. Or maybe they've reached their limit. Regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found out. Anyway. Is he, is he the traitor? I mean, Nakito hasn't really ever done anything suspicious, so I can't believe it. I can't forgive Damn. this. This should never be forgiven. There's no way I can let this run loose. I'll be the one who stops this once and for all. Even if it costs me my life. So he's not. For the sake of hope, I cannot ignore this. Is it Hajima? Monokuma appears! Has arrived! Who summoned me? Thanks for coming. What's this? Why, it's the lonely little Nagito. Are you all alone tonight, what's too? What's the matter? So what's up? Your face looks scary. <sighs> I see. So you can tell. Hmm? Ah, perhaps you found out who the traitor is. <laughs> you know me well. Oh. <laughs> it's what I'd like to say, but unfortunately, I haven't learned that yet. Hmm. I see. So even you don't know, huh? Looks like the final showdown is going to take a little more time. <clears throat> Hello. So why'd you summon me anyway? Were you finally going to confess your love? Hey. I mean, if it was me and Usami, like that, got to share those emotions. I summoned you because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about the special prize from the final dead room. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what about it? There was information about 16 people in the file I received. How many people are in this thing? Wasn't there, was there 16 of us actually this time? Um, was there, was there only one? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 16 of us. <laughs> there's 16 of us. Excuse me. But isn't that weird? Say what? What's weird? You don't even know? Well, there's a traitor from the Future Foundation hiding among us, Pog, right? Including that person. The total number of students would be 16, right? Isn't that right? But this file contains documents that were created at Hope's Peak Academy, of right? Of course. That's right. I just reused the stuff that the former headmaster spent a lot of time making. But... If this file even contains information about the traitor... Was that person also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy? Who knows? <laughs> I wonder. Hey. Could it be? <laughs> Is this your doing? Did you slip false information into the file? Were you trying to keep us from learning the traitor's identity by obtaining this information? <laughs> no. Hmm? What's wrong with that? If it's my job to heat things up, it's okay if I do something small like that, right? Well, That's not my point. Right. My point is, you already know who the traitor is. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? You're getting all riled up. Well, you're splendidly correct when you say I knew who the traitor was all along. Oh shit, really? Happy birthday, Chiaki, you motherfucker. Let's check it out. What else we got? I mean, uh, <laughs> when's, uh, let's see. Oh, Gundam's birthday, December 14th. That'd be nice. We can all get together this year and... Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't, uh, Chucky, uh, yeah, um, March 14th, why, is, oh, wow, They're, um, March 14th, let's see if one's birthday, what's my birthday, January 1st, it's funny, that's super specific, I do know someone born on fucking January 1st, though, I know, actually, I know someone, it's, in, in my year at university, we had someone born on December 31st, and, um, uh, January 1st, uh, which is very fucking interesting, um, Nagito, what about you, ho? Okay, you can actually switch between them. April 28th. Okay. Uh, May 5th. Hmm. December 14th. June 29th. Close to my birthday. September 2nd. February 2nd. Happy birthday. Happy belated birthday, big guy. Uh, August 16th. July 15th. March 14th. October 13th. That makes sense. All the occult shit. 
Literally, oh, the most, the, the, the fucking month with Halloween in it and the 13th day of the month. Fuck off. March 9th. Ooh. <laughs> she wasn't around for that one. April 24th. May 12th. I wonder if they actually chose, if these have any uh, reasoning behind them or some of them were just random. Like, like Sonia's, Sonia's, Sonia? Oh, whatever. She, uh, hers was probably a reason. November 27th. June 30th. Very close to mine again. They're right after each other. Her and Kaz. Her and Kaz are right after each other. Very interesting. Is Monami? Nope, nope. Can't access that. Well, you're splendidly correct when you say, I knew who the traitor was all along. But even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? <laughs> it's just like Monami after losing your magic stick. The traitor's existence means absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> Their existence means nothing, huh? No, no! Well, that's just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel somewhat different. I do- Oh, yeah, I forgot he had a sister. Forgot that was the whole motive for a fucking murder. Um, <laughs> what a wild ride that was. After all, that person is the evil future foundation lackey who's putting you guys through this awful stuff. Hmm. <sighs> That's not entirely true. I didn't really come here to fight or anything like that. She was blonde, right? It wasn't Jin. No, actually. Uh, oh. I can't. No, I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> Instead, I came here to offer my cooperation, you know? Huh? Cooperation? Hey. Your purpose, your porpoise, is to fill everyone on this island with despair, right? That's why you're intentionally letting the traitor do as they please, right? Yep. 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 I... If that's the case... I might be able to cooperate somewhat too. Right. However, in exchange, I want to know who the traitor is. Mm. Sounds good. Sounds good, sir. Very interesting. Very interesting. No, no, no. Obviously, that's a big no no. I mean, I want to make everyone in your group feel despair. That includes you too. Oh. <laughs> I knew you would say that. You're just trying to be equal, man. Besides, I just wouldn't be able to handle the sadness when you inevitably betray me later on. <laughs> just as I thought, you saw right through You're right. me. No matter what situation I find myself in, my core way of thinking will never change. In order to create absolute hope that shines brightly, stepladders such as myself and despair exist. <laughs> You're right! You're a true believer of hope after all. I must say, that belief reminds me of that person for some reason. Huh? Some raisin. Sun made raisins? Ah! Excuse me. Hi, headphone users. It's me. I'd like to apologize for what I just did to you. Reminds you. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. But if someone as worthless as me reminds you of some other person. Oh, interesting. That's kind of funny. It's a little, uh, little, uh, Makoto Neegi moment. You must be extremely unlucky. Like. But you're just as unlucky, right? I mean, the fact that you're even involved in something like this. Wow. Am I? I actually think I'm very lucky. What? You don't know? Wouldn't you say that coming across this much despair is a rare, rather rare opportunity? Don't worry, I got it. Ibuki. Yoko or Mikan. Oh, um, Ibuki? Ibuki Miyoda? I can't rely on anyone on this island. That's why I have to be the one who does it. Oh, no, I did. I was playing it earlier. I played it, uh, I played it for the first hour, and then something in my nuts was like, let's play some fucking Danganronpa. I just felt like doing it. I actually, I, comp I completed a mission. I was pretty, um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, actually. Didn't do a too bad of a job. Uh, I gave a woman away to this man who was waiting in the cellar with a boat to take her somewhere uh, instead of killing her. Uh, and that was the non-lethal option. But it sounds ten times fucking worse what I did. Ibuki. I never. I, you know what? Mikan was actually that chapter. I think fucked a lot of people up because I like Mikan a lot. Mikan was my favorite character. Fuki and Hioka. I, I wasn't. Uh, oh my god. No, you don't have to apologize. No, no, you're all good. You're all good. Uh, no, I appreciate it, because sometimes sometimes I honestly just fully send out the wrong notification, so that's not on you. Um, yeah, I, Mikan was the... She she was the one. That one, I was like, shit. Her, her trial and, like, death was kind of... I barely even remember it. This one, the last one we just had with Gundo, 
big old uh, Gundo Tanako, Gundo, <laughs> Gundam, Gundam Tiny Taco. Um, he was pretty, that was pretty rough. Because I knew, I was thinking that that was probably going to be what it was. If someone was going to sacrifice themselves. Um, so yeah, but twice that's true <laughs> you lie you lie with the hardest hit why why do they make lovable characters i can eliminate despair from this island it won't be a stepladder anymore thank you sam i really appreciate it that's very that's very kind of you guys you guys are also nice i really i really appreciate it thank you guys i'll become true hope i'll become an existence that could even be called ultimate hope <laughs> The two of you are alike. You definitely remind me of him. Hey. There's one more thing I want to ask you. Is he talking about Makoto? Is he talking about uh, Mading Dong? Mm -hmm. Oh, th thank you guys. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate all this, guys. Who are you waiting for on this island? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person you're waiting for already on this island? Is it your mom? Did she come to drop off your lunch? Yeah, some pancakes you had last night. Talk to me a little thermos, a little bit of spaghetti sauce on top. Yeah. Classic. That is a classic Canadian delicacy. Hey. Well, answer my question, you fucking whore. Sorry. <laughs> so fucking aggressive. If that's the case, if that person is already on this island, <laughs> wouldn't that be exciting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take all my photos like that now. P stored in balls. <laughs> Two ultimate robot stream of clockwork. Wow. Wow. It's me, Harrison Ford. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Sea beams bouncing off my penis out in space. Glittering. To be continued. Oh, shit. I have to wait till the next game to figure it out. Let's do that. Uh, whoa, wait, there's more? You obtained the present of Hellhound Earring. Nice. <laughs> what if, what if, what if... <laughs> Ajime's just like the Hellhound Earring. He's like, he's like, oh, shit, nice. <laughs> <laughs> what if you just did that? Um, all right. Well, it's yeah, it's over save. <laughs> it's built like a horse. It's got a lot of horsepower, if you know what I mean. After being released from the fun house, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. Just like before, our day began with us all gathering at the restaurant. Hey there, hoes. You know, every time we meet up here, make sure that's just how crazy this whole situation um, is. The restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before of course it feels spacious there are less than half of us here now than we're at the beginning jesus fucking christ you may read the fucking room she knows that she's talking about how sad it is honestly i don't know i'll for oblivion i kind of just play that on a whim i'll be real with you it's uh i i was thinking about playing it recently but i don't i'm not sure i kind of just the usually i'm i'm, I'm right now because of um Dang, because dang it, Ropa has has all this, and man, I'm really liking it. I kind of feel I kind of feel the bill with that, but um, Oblivion, I'm not sure. I'm not sure when, my man. I'm not sure when, but uh, I'll send out the notey for that. Stupid fool! Get it together! Oh my! Did you hear something? Hey! It's Nekomaru. That was Coach Nekomaru's voice. Uh. What are you talking about? He's no longer. What's up? <laughs> What are you laughing about? I'll beat the shit out of you if you keep grossing me out like that. <laughs> hey, that's not cool. I was working. I was up all night working my fingers to the bone. I am concerned. More importantly, I'm started starting to get tired of this. I'm starting to get tired of the seasonings in this Jeez. restaurant. Seriously, I'm starting to realize how valuable Teru Teru was. <sighs> Don't ignore me. I'm trying to talk to you about something important. Important? Right. You? This took me all night to make it. My is that a Nekomaru doll? Or he has fingers to the bone. I'm Mini Maru. Aw. This man has come back three times. Three times from the dead, this man has returned. Huh? Mini Maru? <laughs> I took some parts from him to make it. What do you think? Awesome quality, <laughs> right? 
working my fingers to the boner. That actually would be great merch. The, the fucking company should do this. Of course, it doesn't have any free will or anything, so it's more like, you know, a toy. But isn't it freaking adorable? Are you serious? Oh, 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 oh! Thanks. It's so cute. Thanks, I'll keep it. Well... Huh. I never said anything about giving it away. Don't be so stuck up. Your stuff is my stuff, right? Whoa. Oh, hey, that's a bully's logic. Man. Well, it doesn't matter. I made this to cheer you guys up anyway. Mm. As long as we have it, we won't forget, you know, about Nekomaru's sacrifice for us. We're standing here today because of him. Also, Gundam. Um, I mean, he did kind of sacrifice himself in a way. So if we're going to prevent something like that from ever happening Engine's again, revving. I guess we got to fight too, right? We can't just keep running away. <laughs> I got to admit, I never thought I'd hear you say something that awesome. <laughs> Damn. Fuyuhiko ex Kazuichi, am I right? Am I right, fellow Wattpad readers? Anyway. Um. Of course, in the end, Gundam told us to never give up on life. Bye. So I will never give up. I shall fight until the very end. <laughs> Gundam, please watch over me. Miss Sonia? What did you think of my little pep talk? Oh my! Oh, did you say something? Are you kidding me? I was a boy night memorizing that speech! Jeez! And there's the punchline. God <laughs> fucking damn it. I really like this. Thanks, Kazumichi. <laughs> Eli, you literally, Eli, this is right up Eli's alley, baby. Man. I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. That's right! <laughs> Uh the dang get rope part of Wattpad. I know I haven't I haven't uh touched that again. I'm trying to look for I was trying to do this series where I read fucking Sonic uh I read Sonic um Sonic fanfic, like not suitable for work fanfic and I just bleep out all the words, but I might just start reading I don't know. I think I think I'm just gonna start reading just like clean fanfic. Um just to make it easier because <laughs> Um, there's logs of shit being put, uh, where logs of shit, uh, I don't think normally get put. Uh, okay, so you can do, if you, uh, if you want, you can read, pretty much if there's ever, if, if there's ever an unnamed NPC, um, Samo in the, uh, in the game that I'm playing, you can just, you can rename them. So if, if there's like a, or if there's a bot, like in Bioshock, there's these robots that would follow you around if they help, if they help out. And I would let, um, you could just, you could give them a name and that's how I'd refer to them. But for now, honestly, if you want to, I'm, 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 since you're wondering how it works, if you want to give someone a nickname here, <laughs> you can, you can fucking use it. Oh, by the way, uh, you can also use that to massage your sore muscles and pressure points. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? That's of amazing. Course. Well, you got one banked then if you ever want it. If you ever want it. Of course, I made it after all. Mm, Oblivion too. Honestly, Oblivion you can use it. For this game, I try to, I, I, I everyone's got specific names, but um, if you want to do it in Oblivion too, you can tear that shit up. <sighs> Seriously, thanks. I'll take good care of it. Kai looks really happy. Hey, hey. Anyway, what happened to Nakito? I haven't seen him like I usually do. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that guy. I'm gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> <laughs> He goes so low all the friggin' time. Well, but still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting in the class class trial. He's always been a dangerous bastard, but he's crossed the line, you know. Hey, hey. and that's even more reason we should avoid him. But, still. but even if we do avoid him, what are you going to do if he approaches us? Nagito's sudden change was really weird, and when we were leaving the class trial, he smacked me on the ass and winked in my eyes. I wonder, did he figure something out that we're not aware no. of? Anyway, Hajime, it's about time you told us what, what, what that was all about. Huh? <laughs> what was all about? Um, you know, what Nagito said during the trial about you being a basic bitch? You still don't realize it. Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Not the drums of hope? Ba -dum -ba -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. I already made that joke too, so it's double, it's double duty. Uh, it's double Dutch, as some would say. I forgot, except for Hajime, of course. Hey, bastard. What do you mean by, except for Hajime? Are you really the traitor after all? <laughs> Shit, you got me. I'm going to give it up that easily. No, it's not like that. Hajime. 
Um, I didn't really want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. Um, to tell you guys the truth, I'm like the rest of you. Oh? Uh, well, uh, apparently I was never part of Hope's Peak Academy primary department. <laughs> Turns me on. And you're like, Who who's Hope? Um, I'm a reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Reserve department? It means... Unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate talent at all. Apparently, I'm just a normal person. Is that all? Uh, what? That's it. Dude, don't ever scare me like that. It's not something I could just brush off, especially since it's about me. <laughs> I thought... I just forgot. I thought I got to always speak Academy because I had a talent all along. But... But shit! My whole life, I've just wanted to feel confident about myself. And I thought about... I ho, 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 ho. And I thought getting into Hope Speak Academy my, meant, I had, meant I had finally become someone I could be proud of. Not some fucking backup student. Right? Cheer up, Hajime. It doesn't matter if you're from the reserve... You're from the reserve of department. Course. She is right. No matter what, you are our friend. You know... There is, there is a saying in Japan. Is that right? Fear is grateful for the danger. Hey. The hell? Yeah, you're saying that all wrong. <laughs> I wish I knew what it was. Oh, Monami. Oh, my girl. My girl's in trouble. So everyone was here. It was a real close battle. I am sorry. I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Stuff is just hard to say sometimes. That's... But you, maybe you can't see me? Huh? Whoa, what the heck? You're covered in blood. Uh, you saw me. Yes, that's right. The, the mono piece this time was very strong. You? Gross. Don't even get close to me. Get out of here. No gratitude. I'm being treated like filth. Hey, hey. Why don't you clean that blood off? We're trying. <laughs> trying to eat. Ah, uh, yes. I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> All right. Wipe, 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 wipe. Got it. Here we go. Now then, Lavender reports you are once again. Man, she's, she's right back. After a fierce battle that's never been seen in history, I finally succeeded in conquering the last mono beast. Oh, one of the last islands. This is it. Because of this, it's finally possible for you to travel to the final island. Uh, I see. <laughs> what a thin reaction. It's like I'm surrounded by tons of shabu shabu from all you can eat restaurant. Don't tell me this again you're gonna say stuff like it's not like we can get off this island why bother going to the new island it's true that i don't really expect don't much but who said we weren't gonna go i wish we were gonna go dumb shit yeah so, assuming we were thinking about running away was a mistake so if we can't run we'll fight i'll crush everyone who put us through this crap in one blow you know what <laughs> I feel like it's a very, um, it's a very, uh, you know what? If we didn't have that combination, wouldn't be a lot of shit out there, would we? It wouldn't be, uh, we'd, we'd still be in the Dark Ages, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, being bad about Gundam. The fight, seriously, that fearsome group is called World Ender for a reason, you, you know. Oh, well, you, did you forget what you said earlier? Hey, hey. Dumbass! I only said that because I was trying to impress with Sonya. Don't brag about that. Settle down. If you have the power to fight among yourselves, then divert that power toward our right. enemy. Now then, let us go forth. Offense is the Damn best defense. Right. You're right. Now's not the time for us to be hmm. bickering. I, I don't really get it, but when Miss Sonya talks like that, my blood starts to boil. Right. I've got pumped up. Let's charge our way to that new island. Starting to get pumped up. The future foundation, Monokuma, Monami. I'll crush them all at once. Even me? <laughs> You guys seem reliable. Hey, don't talk like you're not included. You're our friend too, you know. Mm. You're right. Leave it to me. Then I gotta do my best too. <sighs> Man's gotta listen to some Berserk OST, if you know what I mean. As we left the restaurant, the expressions on our faces were clearly different than they were before. They were filled with strong will and determination. Armed with that, we began walking toward the last island. But the clouds in my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the preserved apartment. 
and that filled me with a strange, uncomfortable feeling, like a small bone was lodged in my throat. Oh, no, wait, it was actually a bone, a fish bone. I had some uh, fish in the morning for breakfast. I pulled it out, and I felt fine. But I tried not to think about it. I tried to stay focused on moving forward. Smile at hope in the name of despair. There's a bunch of dust all over my fucking mouse cord. Let me fix that. With the mono beast gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrived at the final island. Okay, we're just heading right in, baby. Wow. So this is the last island. Looks industrial. Enormous buildings towered everywhere, as if the uh, the entire island were once a gigantic city. It felt very sci-fi, as though the island was a snapshot of an urban metropolis from I the near future. I guess it has an ambiance befitting of a final island. <laughs> fucking, what are you fucking... Couldn't think of any fucking interior decorators that fast. You can't blame me. What the fuck? I only have like two on reserve. What's the, what the fuck is your name? Can't remember. Anyway, that was that one's dead. Central Island. Wow. Oh my god. Look at this place. It's so pretty. Uh, is my pet doing okay? Mm, yeah, she's fine. Okay. Mm, yeah. Uh, let's save again. Let's pop that shit there and let's uh, sprint away. We're so close to getting a uh, level up. All right, we, we should check the map actually to see who we want to talk to. All right. Seeking Industries. Uh, so that will be Seeking Industries. Jabberwock Military Base. Um, who's there? Is anyone there? Kazuichi's there. Plushy Factory. Okay. Plushy Factory. And Vendor Street. Haji Meme walks. Yeah, I know. I know. It seems a little janky. Vendor Street. Okay. Well, off we fucking go. His torso just does not fucking move. Seeking Industries. The Seeking. In we fucking go. Oh, so they make the mono beasts. All right. There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in all directions. It's very sci fi. Hmm. Sea King Industries. Huh? huh? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electrical insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid sized company with only 100 employees, but the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. This place looks like a research facility. For a mid-sized company, this is a pretty nice uh, facility. I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of this company isn't the issue here. On? This company obviously doesn't make machine parts, so just what the heck are they making here? Oh, he's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. It seems like it might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. Place. But yeah, and where we go, we're being constantly monitored by these surveillance cameras. Someone is watching us suffer <laughs> and enjoying it. Nice. Monitor. It's one of the monitors Monokuma uses to contact us. He could just contact us over the radio instead of using an actual screen. Does he just enjoy appearing on screen each time? Or is he trying to mock us? Either way, it pisses me off. Um, machine. This automated machine looks like it's making so. Oh. She's got a spine, all right. I don't like how it dangles like that, I'm gonna be honest. Is this a mannequin? Let's call it that. Maybe. <laughs> it's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? You serious? Seriously? How can they make robots? <gasps> Just how far did technology advance without me knowing? Do you think Nekomaru was made here? That's a good that point. Close. It's a similar humanoid robot. It's possible, maybe. Hey, hey, hey. But why would a company like that manufacture... The, why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I... Je ne sais pas. <laughs> maybe this place is somehow connected to the future foundation, too? Foundation. The future foundation. This machine is making another machine. The finished product looks like it's modeled after a four legged animal. Hey, hey! Doesn't that animal looking machine remind you of anything? What are you talking about? The mono beasts? Maybe. Is there any chance that these those mono beasts were created here? The mono beasts were created here? Fine, fine. Yep, that's what this place is hey, for! Hey. 
No matter how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convinced if a place like this doesn't exist, Goodbye. right? That's why it's just fine. There's all right. Wrong with you. What the hell do you mean by that? It wasn't making any sense at all. Oh, I get it. That was he was he was adding me at me the player. It doesn't matter if it's convinced because I'll never be What's convinced. I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Does this mean Monokuma took over this place and modified it to do this? Damn it! I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. What did I? What did I say? I actually just fucking went over that. <laughs> a resident horny specialist, <laughs> Eli. Ultimate, yeah. Eli, what did you say? What did you say your ultimate was? Did you ever? Did anyone ever ask you what your ultimate was? I think you would be fucking ultimate fucking ultimate horn dog. Um, all right. It doesn't matter who's convinced, because I'll never be convinced. I mean, it's a place for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Um, I don't know, Kaz. Hey, Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Why? Why? Because you started laughing. You started fucking laughing all of a sudden. Well, obviously. What else am I going to do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Hey. Well, there's a computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> I'm shipping it with someone else. <laughs> he was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. It was such a horrible, delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read it, I gave me goosebumps. Delusional story. So, what was written in the email anyway? Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. <laughs> Very fitting. Uh, these riots were caused by high school students. I mean, seriously, this is not realistic at all. Yeah. So these riots just keep growing as people grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society. Until eventually, it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Mm -hmm footage of the riots started getting circulated and others and strange incidents start occurring one after another. A hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End <laughs> to la monde. Um, I know, right? Sounds like something a lame high school band would think of as a song title. Whoever wrote this needs to come up with better story ideas because this wasn't realistic at all. I mean, students causing a riot on that scale is totally impossible. I'd never believe it for a second. But I learned a valuable lesson. I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. Hey, about that. Are you sure it's okay to say that it's just a made-up story? Uh, of course. I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time of to time, not. but there's no way this is real. It's more impossible than a notebook that kills people. Just... I didn't even make that one. That was the game. That was all in the fucking game. It's more impossible than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it. God, you're right. It's just a lot of unimaginable things have kept happening to us. So maybe I'm getting a little confused. But the world ending? I mean, it's not like there's a society called a world ender or anything that's running around. There's no way that something so unbelievable could actually happen. <laughs> well, at any rate, it's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Uh, this used to be Sea King Industries, but it's not I anymore. See. After this island became uninhabited, Monokuma took over this place and modified it without permission. He did all this just to shock us. Zap! Ow! That's the raisin? That's right. It's not so weird. This whole time he's been doing similar stuff to us. But why? This is bad. Maybe there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into this stuff. They're the ones who are making us kill each other. Those bastards get off on watching kids kill each other. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, hold on. Now that I said it out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. If that's true, then our fates are in the hands of those rich perverted bastards. That sounds like something that would happen in a work of fiction looks to camera, but the thought of it actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling. Well, we checked out this place and it really seems uh, overbearingly sad. The Lashed Island. Let's save. Let's save this shit and piss my pants. Um, Alright, uh, off we go. Uh, what else is we gonna do? That's right. Let's run. That's the military base. A helicopter! Helicopter? Jesus, the blade on that fucking thing is like 10 feet wide. This perspective, Jabberwock Army. A sovereign nation? Jabberwock Island. 
Damn, look at that, uh, apache. Hmm? That thing over there. Is that a tank? That's the first thing that fucking piqued your interest? What about the fucking helicopter? The fucking attack helicopter. Is it real? Not just that. There's a lot of other stuff here that looks really dangerous. Like that woman over there! Um, alright, well, let's check it out. There's a fat fucking monitor. Um, blah, blah, blah. We're just gonna skip through all this doo-doo garbage. And I'm gonna go find my pet. God, it feels so weird to be out and about again after we were stuck inside the, the bun house. Oh, hi. There you are. Give me your juice. Ah. I knew you could do it. Thanks, dude. <gasps> I got a lot of money. Holy shit. Mm, is this a military truck? Unlike the airplane, the first island, this looks like it actually has an engine inside, but I don't even know how to drive. <laughs> Besides, it's not like I can escape this island by driving off of it. Shit, <laughs> I didn't know that they didn't have a fucking license yet. I guess they're in high school. When you learn to what? To, when do you learn to drive in Japan too? It's a military truck. There's something in the cargo box. It's an RPG-7 from uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Firearms. And there's a ton of them. There's a lot of different weapons, like guns and anti-tank rockets, carelessly stacked in here. Is it really all right to handle these carelessly? Probably not, honestly. I wouldn't doubt you. Uh, helicopter. Th this helicopter. Is this the helicopter Monokuma used to execute Teru Teru? Wow, good fucking memory. I forgot about that. This is helicopter. Don't screw with me. <laughs> Ow. Um. Hajime, what happened? It's nothing. I'm fine. I couldn't help punching it, but I just ended up hurting my fist. Damn it. I'm so weak. Yeah, oh my god. You couldn't punch metal on a fucking attack helicopter. <laughs> what a weakling you must be. Holy shit. Moron. This is a tank, right? Is it real? Can it move? It's pretty fucking huge, honestly. It's a thick-ass tank. Man, this place is boring. Boring? What are you talking about? There's a tank. He's, he really likes that tank. Like, he is really about that tank right now. You. I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. Obviously. A real man fights with, fight with his fists. <laughs> That goes for women, too. You want to battle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boob pillows. No thanks. Remain pure, brothers. Boob pillows. You know what? At least she knows. At least she's... Um. <laughs> I don't fucking know. This appears to be a military base. Yeah, I'd say so. Is that so? Despite the fact this island is quite small, the military technology here seems rather extensive. These might prove useful when the time comes to combat the future foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. R really? In my country, even a child in grade school can operate a tank. No problemo. No pro- No- <laughs> He's more shocked about her using that term than the actual tank driving thing. No problemo! Of course, in modern warfare, it's required- <laughs> Is a required class in all our grade schools. <laughs> fucking plug in the plug in the fucking Xbox 360, baby. We're going to we're fighting with Soap McTavish. <laughs> of course in modern warfare. An obsession with anime and now this? Sonya's country never ceases to However. baffle me. <gasps> yeah. However, weapons are only weapons when humans start to use I them. If no one uses them, they are nothing more than scrap metal. You're right. Unfortunately, this stuff in the base probably won't be useful to us. Please wait. No, that is wrong. Huh? Um. Well, I have discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator's seat. The, the Future Foundation. That's the Future Foundation's insignia. Jabberwock Island Development Plan. What? What is this? However. I assume it belongs to Monokuma, and it was placed rather ostentatiously. What does that mean? Is that obviously? Out in the open, very clearly. No, not dice games. Jesus Christ. Um, let's look up ostentatious. Characterized by vulgar or pretentious display. Designed to impress or attract notice. Okay. Vulgar. Uh, there we go. I do not know how much we can trust it. Do you think it would be a useful clue? Mana Cooper probably did leave it. Uh, like you said, it's hard to know how much we can trust it. So what does it say? 
Beyond what is written in here, I do not know much. <laughs> Who is this guy? Yawning guy. A shiny door, more like Yanni doorknob, am I right? But it does document Jabberwock Island's redevelopment plan at considerable length. What is that plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control and prepare it as a central headquarters. A central headquarters for the Future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? In actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. The P is stored in the... Unfortunately, the next page is ripped. The travel agency that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so the island was uninhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. Wait, hold on! This place was uninhabited for a long time? If that's true, the maintenance here has been way too attentive. The items at the supermarket are always stocked, and the hotel is still really clean. Could that... Could that the future foundation's responsibility? But more importantly, what's the incident? Why does it mean that the island was unaffected by it? I cannot discern that from this passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp what those words mean. However, there was one thing that may, that caught my attention. What did she just say? I, I tuned out. Um, it's, the, the items in the supermarket are always stocked. I, was, uh, I cannot discern uh, from what that from this passage alone. So it's not how we grasp what those words mean. Okay. There's more. Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? I do. It was written there that the central island houses a large administrative building. However, we could not find that building anywhere. We even commented on how strange that was, right? However... But according to this plan, the building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters could be that same building. Um... They are planning to rebuild it and use it as the Future Foundation's headquarters, or so it is written. What the heck? It's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Damn it! What the hell's going on? We were so distracted by all of the horrible situations that kept happening, one after the other. We might have overlooked a more pressing issue. And that is the mystery of this island. But what's really going on? This mystery doesn't make any sense. No matter how much we think about it, there's no reason behind it. All right, well, that's too bad. Um, let's fucking save that shit again. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna call it here for this episode, and uh, I'm gonna continue playing this uh, for the rest of the stream. But on YouTube, uh, we will uh, we will catch you later. So no cliffhanger this time, unfortunately for me, um, to drag you guys out on. But um, we did get some uh, resolution to Gundam and all that, and had a, he had a pretty lit ass fucking execution. I gotta say. Good old Gundo. Miss that bitch. Miss that bitch. Hard AF. But um, yeah, for now, we're going to call it here. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, and if you ever want to see me play live, I am on Twitch. You can follow the link in the description below. But for now, I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. And that many memes come to you with fresh and refilling. Re, re, and... Huh, uh,